Battlefield Hardline at Gamescom. Today we got a look at two new game modes that are coming with Battlefield Hardline and we got a look at 12 minutes of single player footage. Now, if you had any sort of hesitation about Battlefield Hardline not really being a Battlefield game, then I would probably still have to agree with you at some point because this is unlike any Battlefield game that we've ever really seen before, besides the police and cops and robbers side of things, but the single player is much more in depth than any other single player we've seen for Battlefield so far, and they only started with Bad Company. I would have to say that Visceral have done a really good job with what we've seen so far for the single player. It looks like there's actually a story in there, and it made me laugh at one point, so it looks quite good. Um, I can't show any footage of it, unfortunately, because the trailer doesn't allow me to do that. Um, but if I do get permission to sort of upload some and sort of show you what it's like, then of course I'll do that. But at the moment, there's a link in the description to the single player footage. I was really impressed with what Visceral have actually done with the single player. The bit that they've shown us is sort of following the tale of Nick Mendoza, who is basically the protagonist in the single player. And you follow your way of being a cop and then becoming a bad cop and then going on the other side of the law to try and figure out who sort of set you up and framed you for doing something that, that you didn't actually do. And from the footage that we've seen, as I said, it's unlike any other Battlefield single player. It actually looks like a proper single player, and that's not something that we usually have with a Battlefield game. As I said, the last ones we got were with Bad Company, which were pretty awesome, I have to say, but at the same time, Battlefield's not really known for its single player, but we know Visceral are really good at making those campaign-style games, and from what we've seen so far, it looks like a pretty good campaign, so I can't wait to play it. On to the meat of the sandwich though, <laughs> there are two new game modes being shown off at Gamescom in the next few days, and they are Rescue Mode and Hotwire. We already knew about Hotwire from some leaked footage that had come out, basically this is a cops and robbers police car chase kind of shooter thing, where you just drive around certain areas that have been put in, so different maps and different locations, but the robbers are trying to get away from the marked vehicles, and then the police are trying to obviously catch those robbers, blow the vehicles up, and end up winning the game for them. It looks like a really fast-paced, action-packed game mode. I haven't actually played it myself. I have been over to EA Redwood Shores and, and played Hardline before, so I already know what rescue mode actually is, but I don't really know how Hotwire's actually going to work, but it looks very reminiscent of those cop chases in sort of police camera action films and, and cop TV shows and things like that. I think that's what Visceral are actually trying to embody with the hot wire mode. I have to say, it looks really cool. Again, the trailer is in the description. Um, actually, no. <laughs> There's no trailer in the description for that because they didn't release one. Uh, you'll have to check out Battlefield's Twitch stream where they'll be showing off this game mode over the next few days. I'll try and find some pictures or something that I can put on the screen just to show you what this game mode is all about, but if I can't find anything then I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't show it to you. But the second game mode, Rescue, 5v5 Cops vs Criminals, you have to go in as the cops and you've got to rescue the hostage that's in there. The map that they showed off is brand new and it's like this drug den, it's called Grow House which is one of the maps that will be included for all game modes within Hardline. But this is one of the ones that I played over in San Francisco and I have to say this is a really good map to play on. There's an outside area and then underneath a factory there's this sort of drug den underneath that you can set fire to the cannabis plants and you start to sort of move about all over the place. It's like being hit with a smoke grenade. So you have to wear your gas mask in order to stop that happening, which I think is quite a cool bit of levolution. But yeah, the actual mode, 5v5 competitive game mode. And from what I've seen so far with the implementation of all the netcode fixes from Battlefield 4 CTE going into Hardline, we might actually be able to see a good competitive scene come out of Hardline. I mean, it's probably too early to say right now, but it's really good to see the developers implementing something for competitive players. Of course, in the rescue mode, it is one life only. That's the point of it being a competitive mode. If you die, that's it. You get to sit and spectate your team try and actually get that hostage back, 
or if you are the robbers, you've got to try and protect the hostage and make sure you keep them where they're supposed to be kept. As I've said, I'm really looking forward to this game mode. A lot of people thought that Battlefield 4 didn't really bring many esports sort of game modes to the table, and I would have to say that the Netco completely killed competitive play for Battlefield 4. It's just not very popular. But it's really good to see Visceral implementing something, and they honestly believe in their game that competitive is going to be something and a part of Hardline. But yeah, that's about it for today's video guys, I just thought I'd keep you up to date with what's going on with Battlefield Hardline. I understand it's not as popular as Battlefield 4 at the moment, but I think it will gain in popularity when people start to see what Visceral have done with this game, because obviously I've seen more than what's actually going on here and I can't talk about that yet, but um, you're in for a treat with Battlefield Hardline I think. There's still a lot of kinks that need to be worked out, but ultimately I think it's going to be a very, very good game. But thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a rating down below and leave all your comments too. I will try and read as many as I can. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.